Hey, what's up? Peace and blessings. This is Giovanna, the spiritual love healer, and I am coming to you with my third planner for 2020. And this is a planner that I, when I first really got into planning, um, I think this was like the first like official planner that I started using. And it is my Franklin Covey planner, which I love. Um, I haven't used this one in a while, but I decided to go back to it this year because um, when I thought about what really helped me to stay organized, I thought back to this planner and decided to give it another try. Um, so I'm going to share this with you, but before I get into that, um, I just want to show you some other little accessories and things that I have. So um, if you don't know, again, I'm Giovanna, the spiritual love healer. I am an intuitive tarot reader, tarot reader a life coach and healer. And I am just sharing the things that I do to keep myself, my life, and my business on track and to reach my goals. So um, initially, I did love bullet journaling from using um, like the Franklin Covey Planner. I think from there, I started using bullet journaling. But that got distracting to me because of the simple fact that I spent more time decorating than planning. <laughs> so um, a couple things that I also like to have are these cheap, like I guess they're like a dollar planner that you find in like the dollar store or something like that. So this is just a regular monthly planner. Um, and I like to keep these because I can jot things down in them really quickly. Um, and they're very lightweight, easy to carry around. So if I need to write something down or like plan things out on a large scale, that's what this baby is for. Weekly, I like this for like little reminders and just to make notes, things like that. So I just picked these up because they were cheap and I am a planner junkie and I love the colors. Um, I also have some stickers I had I was actually gonna get some more stickers and I've got a couple rolls of washi tape and things like that so I can decorate my planner I probably will my planners I probably will invest in more stickers but I just haven't dedicated myself to finding them so what I love most about the Franklin Covey planner one are the amazing um, binders I always get um, the daily planner this was like my very first binder so I've had this since like 2006 2007 and um, it's in pretty good condition the only drawback that I would say is that um, the binders only hold about one quarter worth of planner pages so I can't have the whole year with me which for me is a drawback because I like to see things um, I don't know I like to have my, my whole planner in one which is why having a weekly planner is also a necessity for me which I know it's weird guys I have lots of planners so here is the inside I forget what the name of this planner is called but this is the inside I can have like my license other cards cute little um, pocket here to stick things in gotta have the pin hooks to keep my nice pretty pins in and this is like a dashboard, so I can place sticky notes on here, um, use a whiteboard marker, write notes on here. Um, this, I forget what this is called, but it has a quote on here that was in my original Cubby Planner. So I've had this quote for like, what, 12? No, longer than 12 years, somewhere around there, 12, 13 years. And it says, big thinking precedes big achievements. I don't know where this came from, possibly like the Steve Covey book, Seven Habits, which all of those, that whole series of books is amazing, really good read, check them out. It says, high achievement always takes place in the framework of high expectation. You'll always hit what you aim for in the long run, so why not aim high? Have the courage to follow your dreams. It's the first step towards attaining your destiny. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you don't have a dream, how are you gonna make it come true? In order to succeed beyond your wildest expectations, you need some wild expectations. So that's always something like I'm really great to see and to be reminded of every single day. 
Okay, so in here, um, what I love about this system is that you go through and you figure out what your values are and then you align your day with your values. So it's kind of like um, working backwards to make sure that you're making time for the things that are important to you. I'm a single mother. I own a business. I have a client that um, takes up a good portion of my time. So I have to manage my client, manage growing business, manage my child and home and being a person, being a woman, all of these other things, social life, all of that. So having a planning tool that helps me keep the main thing, the main thing is very important and essential to me because things can get lost. And then the next thing you know, three months go by and I haven't done yoga. So that's why it's really important to me to really plan in a very detailed, strategic and intuitive way. And so here's some more cute, um, I love these. These are so pretty. Pretty gold foil and just some more um, sticker. I know I had more stickers somewhere. So got these gorgeous folder inserts. Um, what else is in here? If I can turn the page this title page where you can put your name and address so this is the blooms daily classic size of the franklin cubby planner i've got this page divider here um i love um also that i can buy different inserts and so that's what i did i got the habit tracker inserts the health and fitness tracker because health and fitness is something that i really want to focus on more in 2020 so I can log um, my exercise, make sure I'm meeting my goals, make sure I'm tracking my hydration and meal planning is something else that I am going to start doing because we eat out way too much, but I do it because it helps me save time. Um, but I'm tired of spending money eating out. So I'm gonna start meal planning. So that will help my budget, my body, and um yeah so that like takes care of two problems for me so here we have the beautiful index so you make notes in like the daily calendar or whatever and then if you have to refer back to a note you just put it on this index so you can find it easily and so that's the one for january and then each page is a two-page spread so we have like the appointment calendar here, any tasks, you can mark, you know, the priority and then you can make notes and things like that over here. Um, I more so use this side here as like a journal, things that I need to remember. Um, I might make notes from like phone calls, reminders, things like that. That is what I'll put over here and then kind of triage it. Like where does it need to go? Do I need to schedule something? Um, so that's kind of how I use this. I like having a space where I can write each day and that's something that a lot of planners do not include and that's why I love the daily format of the Franklin Covey Planner because I do keep these so that way I can go back and read through it and look and see like oh wow okay so this happened on that day and so on and so forth so yeah. Um, like I said, this only holds about a quarter, so three months worth of planning pages. Plus, if you add the additional pages, then it takes up even more space. So I only have like January through March of the daily planning pages in my planner at the moment. But I do have the um, tabs, the monthly calendars for the remaining, the remainder of the year so that if I do need um, have an appointment scheduled I can just jot it down on the monthly calendar and then once those planning pages are put in I can move it out to that particular date so it still works it still works um, what else so in addition to having the monthly pages the folders um, there are also just planning calendars so you can look and see the different years and what dates holidays fall on which is great for scheduling so you know what days holidays fall on and you're not scheduling things um, on a holiday or when you don't want to. There are also 2021 calendars so I can start planning things out in advance which I love. What else do I have in here? I think 
that's kind of it. Um, I also have in here some sheets because again, I said I was focusing on finances and things. So I have this um, yearly income and expense tracker, which will be clutch for business, keeping track of everything that I'm spending um, when it comes to my budget for business and home, keeping track of my expenses for tax purposes. Um, also like debt elimination, they have this awesome tracker so you can keep track of your finances, what you're paying down, things like that. So like I said, finances is a big focus for me because I've got goals that I wanna reach. And so I set up this planner specifically to help me with that. And then there's like a monthly budget worksheet. I think I put 12 in there. So there's one for each month already um, in there. And then I love these. These are the goal planning sheets that you can purchase where you can really map out your goals and the action steps. This is super helpful for me. Um, I've used these to plan out so many amazing things and they keep me focused. Um, the weekly compass, I like these because it lets you choose, um, you write the date at the top and you choose what you're gonna focus on for yourself physically, um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And then you choose your important roles and your big rocks, which are the main things that you need to focus on for that week. And that is a very helpful strategy as well. Like when you follow the system, it really, it really does help. And then I have a menu planner in the back because again, meal planning is going to be clutch for my fitness and financial goals as well. So that is my Franklin Cubby Planner. So yeah, this is their Planner Love series. Um, I also have a pink one that my dear sweet friend and accountability partner, Angela, sent to me um, with some more like gorgeous little inserts and stuff. So what I am doing with these, um, because I like to see everything in one place, I will keep these on my desk. And so I'll have a quarter in each which means I might need another binder to put Q4 in. But um, I really love working with the Franklin Covey Planner and I'm glad that I am going to be using it again this year to really structure my day, um, structure each of my days. And so that's why that one is going to be on my desk. So when I sit down, I can open it, look at my appointments, look at the things that I need to get done for that particular day. Um, so I do have one other planner that I'm going to be sharing with you later in the day. I know for sure that, um, I know next year, so what I'm also doing is trying these different planning systems to figure out which one am I really gonna stick with um, for the coming year. And I really do love, um, the Biddy Tarot Planner is something that I'm always gonna use. And I really do love the Law of Attraction Planner. The only drawback with that is that it's not a daily planner. So that's where the Franklin Covey Planner comes in. Um, and then I have a planner that's more task oriented, which I found working with that planner has been super helpful. Um, and that is the Momentum Planner. I usually get the digital planner and then I take it to uh, uh, Staples or something like that and have it printed. This year, I'm kind of leaning towards just um, trying it digitally and seeing how that works. But the only drawback with that is that on my computer, I would have to use Adobe and I don't use Adobe for my PDF software. I have something different. Um, so I'm trying to decide and I'm going to decide by this week if I'm going to have it printed and bound or if I'm going to. And I was trying to see if I had the 20 um the 2019 one that i'm using now in my office but i don't um last year i tried to use it digitally and i didn't so i wound up getting the from april on through december printed um and i found that i did use it but it's huge it's pretty big so i don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but I do like having that planner because just the way it it breaks down the, your goals like that's gonna be like my master planner probably where I'm planning everything out putting my goals and stuff in and then 
transferring the information into my weekly and daily to make sure I'm staying on track. And I know it probably seems and sounds like a lot, but I have not found a planner that does everything I needed to do. And um, my friend and I have, were talking and I was like, I'm probably going to design my own planning system at some point that suits what I need. Um, because there's so much that I can't include, like um, lesson plans and things like that for my daughter. Um, and just being able to have everything in one space is very important to me. Like I don't really care necessarily about the size of my planner um, as long as everything is in one place. And I do prefer bigger planners. I actually have this huge um, book that I use and I would love a planner that size that's like really big with enough writing space because it also is kind of like a journal where I keep them because I want to go back and review things because I put a lot of information in my planners. I have not started planning um, out anything just yet and normally like I'm already in that process but what I'm realizing is that as this year comes to a close especially being that there's this whole cycle ending um, that's taken place, I'm finding that there's more releasing and letting go and I'm more in a space of getting clarity on my next steps versus like trying to plan things out. So I'm just like enjoying this energy, been focusing on decluttering um, in my life and around my home and my office and things like that um, so that when I'm ready like everything just is gonna be smooth and I'm really really excited about everything that is to come and I'm really really want to start planning because I want to use my stickers like I really really want to use my stickers so um, that is planner number three. So, so far I've shared with you my Biddy Tarot planner, I've shared the Law of Attraction planner, and now I've shared my Franklin Covey planner. So I've got one more planner that I will be sharing with you soon, and that will be my 2020 planner series. And um, hopefully by then I will be in full on planning mode with my tarot cards and my pretty pins and all my stickers for 2020. All right, so that's it. Again, I'm Javonna, the Spiritual Love Healer. You can check out the um, services that I provide over at thespirituallovehealer.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.